In this week's episode, a powerful vulture-killing drug is approved in Europe, a tortoise-detecting dog, a selfie-taking lemur, and research proving elephants are even more intelligent than previously thought. That and much more in this week's nature and environment news from around the world, this is your Two Minute Roundup. Italy and Spain have approved the use of a powerful drug that decimated Asia's vulture populations. Diclofenac, which is used to treat cattle, kills vultures who feast on contaminated remains. India, Nepal, and Pakistan have lost 99% of their vultures due to the drug, and it's feared that Europe's vultures may now suffer the same fate. Elephants can tell the difference between human ethnicity, gender, and age. Two scientists from Sussex University are behind this fascinating research, where voice recordings were played to wild African elephants in Kenya. Another finding is that the elephants seem to be adapting to the threat of humans. With the rampant poaching going on in Africa, this should probably not be all that surprising. Off to Florida, where a panther who was rescued after being hit by a car last year is finally being released back into the wild. The panther was rehabilitated after extensive injuries and is now well enough to go back into its natural habitat. A great white shark nicknamed Lydia is making history as the first of her kind to be documented swimming from one side of the Atlantic to the other. Yeah, Lydia! Lydia was tagged by scientists in Florida last year. She's also possibly pregnant, and it's hoped she will lead them to her shark nursery. Yeah, Lydia! Do your thing, big girl! Down to South Africa, where the first detection dog for endangered tortoises is eagerly on the job. Bryn has been specially trained to sniff out critically endangered geometric tortoises, which researchers hope will help tremendously with their fieldwork. Ever wanted to beat climate change denialists with hard science, but didn't have all the facts at your fingertips? Well, now you can with a new app called Skeptical Science, which lets you find out quickly whether statements are based on proper, peer-reviewed science. And finally, step aside, Ellen DeGeneres, a lemur at the London Zoo may take better selfies than you. The lemur's keeper was taking photos of the primate when it grabbed the camera and began snapping away. Not bad for a creature with no previous photographic training. There's loads more information on our website, and you can post your comments there too. Also, don't forget to join us on Facebook and Twitter.